please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Good morning, Wildcats, and welcome to today's show. We hope you enjoyed your weekend, and let's jump right in. Today, we will hear from some coaches and members of our cheer team and see what they have been doing and how movie theaters are still being affected by the coronavirus. I'm your host, Ariel Rastian. Today is Monday, October 12th, and you're watching West Ranch TV. Make sure to join the Wellness Center tomorrow at 1.30 to hear from Mr. DiCherico, who is speaking about LGBTQ plus History Month. The Zoom link for the meeting is located on the bulletin. As many sports teams are starting to head back to campus to train and condition for their upcoming seasons, so is our cheer team. Even though it has taken lots of planning to safely practice and be together, many West Ranch sports are figuring out different ways to stay safe and positive during these times. Like many other sports, cheer has been affected by the coronavirus. I got the chance to talk to the West Ranch cheer coaches and varsity captains about what they're doing to keep everyone excited about this year. What has cheer been doing to keep everyone involved this year? So we have been doing a lot of new things. We've been implementing a lot more competitions. We're actually doing virtual competitions with all the high schools. We came up with a new Instagram account, SCV High School Cheer. The Santa Clarita Valley cheer teams did their first virtual competition a few weeks ago. West Ranch took first place in freshman and varsity. How has cheer changed this year? So cheer has completely changed this year due to COVID. We actually have online practices and daily check-ins almost every single day. What are you looking forward to this year? This year we're looking forward to football season and basketball season. The cheerleaders just started practice in person and they're hoping to get on campus soon. What have the girls been doing to bond with each other while following social distancing guidelines? Is it, is it really safe to be together because we want everything to get better? We are still trying to do things to make this year fun while being socially distanced. The girls have been doing activities like drive-bys and dropping off gifts for the little sisters. What do you feel like is most important for the teams right now? Uh, the most important thing for the team, I think, is to remind them that we are still a team and a unit, that uh, we're a group of individuals working towards a common goal together, even though we're not together um, and only just digitally able to see each other. Uh, that's kind of an important thing for me. Like, you are a part of something bigger than just yourself. Thank you for joining us, cheer captains and coaches. Now let's take it back to the host. Thank you, Emma, for that update on our cheer team. Make sure to sign up for the fall blood drive tomorrow at St. Stephen's Church in New Hall. Today is the last day to sign up, and anyone over the age of 16 is able to donate. Visit the website on the bulletin in order to make an appointment. Since the coronavirus shut down all indoor movie theaters starting in March, outdoor drive-in movies have been brought back and are becoming more popular. Let's take a look at which movie theater types some students are enjoying more and why. Since quarantine has started, movie theaters like the one behind me have been closed to prevent the spread of COVID-19 inside. As a result, drive-in movie theaters have once again become popular among both teens and adults. Drive-in movies are a classic part of American culture that have been around since the 1930s but really became popular after World War II in the late 1950s and early 1960s. While drive-in movie theaters have declined since then, the recent pandemic brought drive-in movie theaters back. I like drive-in movie theaters because they're super fun and old-fashioned, and when you're in your own car, you could talk to whoever you're with about the movie. In a regular one, you can't really do that or else people will be really mad and bothered. More and more drive-in movies have been packed with eager family and friends who are just happy to be able to hang out and enjoy some time away from home. I think outdoor movie theaters are awesome since they're such a different experience than normal indoor movie theaters. But personally, I like the indoor movie theaters since uh, I'm not really much of an outdoors person. 
According to the New York Times, all regal cinemas in the U.S. might close down until COVID-19 is over. So drive-in movies are a new alternative to enjoy a movie from the comfort of your own car. From Western TV, this has been Caitlin Yang reporting. Thanks, Caitlin. I'm excited that drive-in movies are finally being brought back. Well, that's all for today's show. Stay tuned tomorrow for a sports update and learn more about which Halloween events students enjoy over others. I'm your host, Ariel Rastian. Have a great week, cats.